very good morning to you. We are down at Lewington in Hampshire in the UK and it's home of, and one of the buildings behind me, uh, is home of Berthon International. Um, they offer a stack of marine services from boat building uh, to maintenance to servicing. They also offer this amazing marina facility and all that goes with that. And we thought we'd give you a quick look around some of those facilities um, whilst we're down here. Of course we're also down here because we are reviewing a couple of Genoa boats, aren't we? Absolutely, yes. And we're able to get inside Burthen's uh, workshops, um, which is really exciting. So we're going to be seeing yeah. where all the work takes place. The yeah. Boat, the boat building um, and, you know, everything else that goes with that. Yes, so um, stay tuned for that film uh, on now, but of course also have a look out for the Mary Fisher 795 Sport that we filmed from here, the Mary Fisher 1095 Flybridge that we filmed from here, uh, and a couple of other boats uh, which we're looking forward to uh, taking you around. But anyway, let's have a tour around Berth on first and uh, you can have a look at the facilities here. And this is where all the magic happens. Look at the size of this. Yeah, and to get around some of these warehouses, you definitely do need a bike. And look at all those. That is one big stack of engines. And in this area of the workshop um, is where they fit out a lot of the uh, smaller Genoa power boats. The lovely Legend Edition there getting prepped for its probably very excited owner, I'm sure. But you can see the, uh, the size of the workshop here, absolutely colossal. And we might get a chance to have a look around this lovely little boat as well a bit later. Well, what do you think of that pile of oh engines, Rosie? This is Yamaha outboard heaven. <laughs> it certainly is. Whoa. Oh, yeah, look at all those hiding in there. Loads of them. 200s, 300s, you name it. They're here. Yeah, 300s on the end there. Amazing. Yeah, one or two horsepower there, isn't there, my lovelies? Oh my goodness, absolutely. <laughs> yes, one or two horsepower. And look at some of these over here as well. There's all shapes and sizes. Go. That one looks pretty smart. Not sure that will power up the 1095 very well, but and look at this. So Berthon are one of the very few boat makers that deal with the refurbishment or indeed rebuilding of timber boats. Some incredible craftsmanship going in there. It's been completely refurbished and rebuilt. Yeah. Based on the original. Yeah. Look at that, all those bits of timber, cut, shaped, some amazing, some amazing craftsmanship here. The tools of the trade, a bit different to the other end of the workshop where all the uh, Genoa power boats are. This is the complete contrast and great to see these old um, crafts in effect back centuries of wooden boat building amazing to see now that is just fantastic and the tools wow that is some serious boat building
And just look at that. Decades old boat, 1950s. Getting a complete makeover. It is incredible craftsmanship. Some of these, uh, some of these timbers are the original from the 50s. Other, uh, others are patched in there. Everything, num everything numbered. Serious craftsmanship going on there. And of course, in those days gone by, the only way that these amazing boats were built before the likes of our um, GRP hulls and that were made available. A good vantage point as well from up here. And of course, down the end and the side here, got these amazing Gemini ribs, which we hope to also give you a look round as well. Um, Berth on here are some of the sole retailers of um, the Gemini range from sort of five meters right up to 10, 11 meter ribs. Any shape and color you want. And of course you may have seen some out and about with British police forces and many, many other government services overseas and internationally. And up there as well, another massive pile of engines. Gosh! That is painstaking work. Well, like working on the 895 res? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, uh, it is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Not, uh, yeah, not quite like the uh, 895 we had. But just amazing to see such incredible craftsmanship. Still happening in 2022. With it being lovingly put back together again. And right next to the other one as well, another one being lovingly put together here, absolutely amazing. They're bringing in apprentices um, into the company here who were taught straight out of school and college or as part of their apprenticeship in college and uh, some of them have actually been here 50 plus years since finishing apprenticeships very much a focus of the company to keep the staff here and keep that expertise and training within the company some amazing skills on show there And look at this oyster yacht. Wow, they look so massive when they're out the water. Massive in the water, but... A labour of love indeed. But of course, a great facility for doing all this type of work. And look at that Gemini, eh? A, a Wave Rider 880 this one is, in build, hoping to get a chance to come back and see this one as well, when it's in its almost complete state. 
available in almost any colour you imagine, from lifeboat orange to black to greys to white, double skinned, extra reinforced if you want it. And Bertha, we make these boats, um, supply them to the forces. Um, the rib itself is exactly the same for all of those uh, customers, except um, for the sort of leisure industry, you can uh, choose your colours. Absolutely, yeah. Fancy a bright orange one? <laughs> <laughs> Tools everywhere, in fit, fitted with a T-top this one. So they can either be obviously a leisure or indeed there's a very big commercial usage of these uh, Geminis. But look, I wanted to show you this as well, look at that. That is some fastidious electrical work going on there. Every single, see all the little cables, they label them all each end so you know which one's where, so really is a lot of attention to detail in the backroom stuff, if you like, of the construction here. Very nice, these aren't they? They are, yeah. I mean, yeah. Ordinarily, there'd be some more seating here, obviously. Yes, um, absolutely. Well, in fact, any configuration you want, really. But yeah, yeah, this one's having some jockey style seating, isn't it? Yes. Down the middle. But yeah, it'd be lovely to get back and see this one, won't it? Yes, once it's completely built. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Lovely indeed, and there. A couple of slightly smaller ones in build here as well. So hopefully, as I say, these have been prepped actually for the uh, boat show, so uh, we're hoping to get back before they uh, head off to the boat show so that we can get a bit more of the um, finished footage um, and show you a bit more of these lovely Gemini yes, inflatables. Yes, so they're going to be appearing at the Southampton boat show, so if you go along there you'll be able to see them in um, full bloom, so to speak. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And don't get tempted. You're not allowed to be tempted. <laughs> oh, I am. Could we tow it with the motorhome? Yes. Oh. <laughs> the detail in that wiring is just extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. What makes the Gemini such a popular one as well with uh, a lot of the uh, uh, British Forces, MOD, is this uh, this big sort of deep V-shaped hull which makes them very good sea handlers at speed with of course load as well added, particularly if you add say some of the equipment they become quite heavy and still will do uh, well over 40 knots and obviously without a, a load of heavy equipment then um, 50 plus knots particularly with twin yam 200s on the back so uh, yeah, really looking forward to coming back and having uh, having a look at those when they're in a more of a state of completion. Look out for those films, guys. There, look at that. An overhead view of this amazing workshop. Those are 650s, by the way, those two over there at the end, those Geminis. And there's that lovely 880 there. Yeah, amazing. I know, isn't it lovely? Just a closer look at. And that's the warehouse at the top there. Yeah, warehousing, spares, engines, parts, you name it. Great setup. And a hive of activity here, over 100 staff work in these warehouses. It's great to see the boats without their. Uh, component parts, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Oops, sorry about the flashing, uh, flashing lights, folks, but some of the real craft work going on in here. Woodwork, fiberglass work, some of the real detailed stuff that makes this workshop such an amazing space. 
and such experience in, uh, in building just about anything you could possibly imagine for the water. Now that is a saw. Look at that. A bit bigger than mine one at home, that isn't it? That's a huge saw, yeah. <laughs> That's a serious, serious bit of cutting, that is. Look at some of this. Every shape, size, type, the tool. Beautiful, beautiful hardwood timber. If there's something you want making for your boat, then you're definitely going to be able to make it here. Look at that. A candy store for woodwork. And from that uh, modern equipment to uh, probably some horses there that have been used for years, decades of it. But they work and I bet they do exactly what they're supposed to do. What a fantastic old bit of machinery that is. Just along from that incredible new piece Wilkinson's Woodworking Machinery. Look at that, even an 01 number. You can tell how old that's going to be. Decades old. But, just like those bits over there, it does its job perfectly. smell that can't you yeah <laughs> fiberglass quite like that smell a bit like those crazy smells of um what's it whiteboard markers isn't it yes. yeah you probably wouldn't want to stay in here all day though God. everything you could possibly want now there's a good selection but if you're working on boats that are decades, many decades, perhaps even more, age, refitting, refurbishing, and that's exactly the sort of things you need. And then just um, directly underneath all those amazing workshops, we've got where they do a lot of the metal work, engine work. Back through to where we were looking at those uh, Geminis and the uh, yachts out there. So you can see everything, absolutely everything. Here's right on site. literally not a part known that can't be made in these workshops here at Berthon. And the little welding booths here as well. cutters no wood or GRP now those are proper sized drill bits and we've just popped across the gravel to yet another massive workshop 
and I reckon you can probably guess what's going on in here but um, and in fact a couple of interesting bits to note here you see these um, stays that are supporting the boat at the moment see it's good to see that they're actually above the water line of where the copper coat's been applied there which of course means that um, when you get your copper coat on there's absolutely no gaps where sometimes I've seen boats that have supports that are sort of on the uh, within the copper coat or the uh, anti-fouling coat whatever it may be copper on this occasion it just shows that um, the attention to detail here as well is really impressive to see and that's of course makes complete sense that you put the uh, stays above the copper coat and then it's just a one pass spray on copper rather than rolled on which again gets better adhesion so that's a really good example there that just happens to be in the shed as we popped in of how to get a really good copper coat coverage with no gaps and just anti-foul and undercoating is a second area for gloss coating here as well And just next door, all masked up, getting its top gloss coat put on. Look at that. That's an awful lot of masking going on there. Wow, and there is the spray workshop, empty at the moment. Completely sealed from everything else. I think the sevens and the eights would fit in there, right, wouldn't they? <laughs> that is enormous. Grief. And if you look, I don't know whether you can see really closely, it looks like it's almost wet, the wall surface there. That's a deliberately added sticky finish that catches all the dust from the atmosphere here. But to make sure none of it gets on the finish coat. So, and there are those paint sheds that we've been in. So we're around the back of the yard at the moment, in effect. Look at this thing. What a monster that is. That's relatively new. 75 tonne lift in that. Carry it round the yard. And then this amazing hoist here, that's 20 odd tonne lift capacity. So there's not much. Not much that they can't lift here. And then all the way out from those amazing workshops you've then got the dredging so all of the marina here berth on marina is um is in effect private land so originally the, the river course right over there which is in fact the isle of white ferry over there um but the river course would have passed through there all of this was then dug out many decades ago um but has to then be continually dredged and um, kept clear and kept deep enough, of course, for um, for what you're seeing there, which is some pretty big craft. They take up to 45 metre vessels in the marina here. Um, so some big, big boats. And uh, if we get a chance, we might get to the end of some of these uh, some of these pontoons where some of the really big stuff is, and show you around those bits as well. But uh, so a completely all-encompassing service really that uh, that takes you from uh, all the detail of the workshops there right through manufacture refurb in the water sales service you name it it's all done here at Berthon a very interesting setup and of course where a couple of years ago you remember that uh, Mickey a couple of years ago when we uh, we're here collecting our 895 offshore. I do. Well, we went out on the sea trial, didn't we? Which was uh, 
which was just out here where we took uh, where we took Resi out on her sea trial. That was an exciting day, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, amazing. And uh, just over there, the little low-level building there, that's uh, BHG Marine offices there, where uh, where a couple of years ago now, in fact, almost two years ago, next month, we uh, we bought the offshore 895 offshore. So fond memories. Never say never again. A huge marina complex here, space for 300 plus boats, uh, up to 45 meters that they can cater for here. Um, so some really good facilities um, and the building that was behind us just there, that's the uh, massive shower block, really lovely shower block. Um, um, washing facilities and other services in there. Um, full-time bar over there from sort of eight, nine in the morning that do some fantastic bacon rolls, teas and coffees, but also um, some great events as well, live music at the weekends uh, and other bits and pieces that, uh, that they lay on here at Berthon. Look at all those boats, a gazillion shapes, sizes. Fantastic. And what a buzzing hive of activity in the Berthon yard here as well. Gantries all along here, which allow you to, um, to get your boat up onto land, work on it, maintenance. Some really excellent facilities here. And we've thoroughly enjoyed our uh, visit to BHG and Berth on here and hope to bring you more from the uh, dealership of course but uh, certainly if it was uh, if it was anything boats and you're down at Leamington on the south coast then um, then check out some of the Berthon facilities here been absolutely fantastic look at that one that one arrived last night. Beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful. And of course these are some of those 300 bursts that I was talking about. And you can see that certainly cater for some some pretty huge boats. From your five foot dinghies and ribs up to your up to your monster super yachts here. It's obviously staffed 24 seven here. Uh, excellent facilities for berth holders here. And, uh, and a really good spot if you like the south coast. In fact, this one on the right here, absolutely lovely. That's a Pearl, Pearl 62 that one. Um, Berthon are also the sole retailers in the UK of the Pearl yachts. They obviously do a 62, which is that one there, but then they obviously go up to the uh, Pearl 90. All absolutely fabulous boats, and we very much hope to be able to bring you one or two of those to the channel as well in the near future. But that just gives you a flavour of, of the size of the facility here and the and what they offer as a marine service. All we need now is a bit more sunshine. 